How you doing guys? Uh, we're going to take a look at the Encoder X264, which is a open source version of the proprietary version, which is H.264, which is using, used for encoding uh, video. And um, of course, it's been out for many, many years already. But uh, there's really a lot of service video sharing services and products that this is coming up uh, in most notably YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo and Hulu are some of the uh, services that's utilizing this. Now it comes to into play. Why are they using it? Vice H264. Obviously because the H264 version is proprietary. They have to pay a license to use it. Um, supposedly the X264 version uh, is um, has better quality at lower bit rates and supposedly it also uh, has faster encoding. So it's probably one of the uh, many reasons why these companies are uh, using it more and more. So we're actually going to uh, uh, look more into the X264 encoder and we're going to compare it with the H264 version. Uh, how you doing? Uh, now I'm going to uh, go over um, installing um, the X264 on your system, primarily a uh, Macintosh Mac because uh, that's what I primarily use. So depending on your uh, operating system, Windows or Linux, uh, the two other major ones, um, obviously that uh, would be different. So um, we're going to uh, go to the Finder menu at the top um, while pressing Option and to go. Now, of course, the uh, library folder is hidden, so uh, you'd have to do, you could do this several different ways. We're going to click on that, open it up, and we're going to scroll down to QuickTime. And once you download uh, this encoder, you're just going to have to drag it to the uh, QuickTime folder. Um, and there's many places on the web you can find this and download it, and uh, which is x264encoder.component. And... Um, there's actually many different software applications can utilize this uh, encoder, such as Handbrake, uh, Wirecast, um, um, several other ones. Um, and in fact, uh, Wirecast in version 5 is also going to utilize X264 natively, um, which uh, hopefully is going to uh, um, speed up encoding in that application. And uh, I was just going to show you one software program um, where you can use X264 just to uh, see what it looks like. And as you can see, we got um, Wirecast uh, open, uh, not version 5, by the way. So um, we're going to go to uh, encoder presets right now, or you can have several ways you can do this. And uh, as you can see, we uh, from this uh, choice of encoders, um, we also got H.264 up here as well. Uh, I've got it selected and I'm actually uh, using it. Well, not I was using it. Um, and then you do have quite a few a bit of options, actually probably more so than the H.264 version. It doesn't seem to have nearly as many. And then here you can load uh, different presets and save them as well. Um, some of this is a bit uh, kind of cryptic, uh, so you might want to leave this to the uh, default settings and obviously you can change different configurations if need be um, just like so I did some testing between the H.264 and the X.264 um, videos um, encoded uh, two different ones uh, each using both um, obviously for this test, I, uh, used the same parameters, 720p at a bit rate of, uh, 2,500, uh, to make the test as evenly as possible. And, um, it, the quality looks very similar, but I do notice that, um, that the, uh, X264 is a bit, um, clearer and a bit more brighter now I got the H.264 video on the left and the X.264 encoded video on the right. And uh, 
the quality is, is very similar, but like I said, the uh, the X264 is, is a bit slightly better. Um, of course, to the untrained eye or not looking for it, it, it would be basically look the same. Um, but of course, it all depends on your configuration, how you how you have it set, the conditions, the video was shot, and so forth. And um, I think there's quite a few other people um, who do um, video editing uh, notice this as well. Um, the uh, X264 is um, notably slightly better.